Alrighty guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be giving an overview and mini review of the Housework Sharpening Package. Brian House was kind enough to send me this package to test out, and I want to show y'all how it's been performing. The system comes with a fully assembled misting kit, a pre-installed magnet, and two Norax belts. The grits on the Norax belts are 600 and 1200 respectively. Now, before we jump into the set, I want to go over the potential value of a liquid-cooled system. Loren Thomas, aka the Knife Steel Nerd, wrote an article in 2019 on how using your belt grinder for sharpening could lower the hardness of your edge at the apex. Like all of Loren's work, the article is very detailed, so I'll put the link in the description below if you would like to read the entire thing. But for me, the takeaway was that there is at least some risk in sharpening your blades on the belt grinder. A liquid-cooled system like the Housework Sharpening Package we're talking about today, or a Tormex-style wheel, will mitigate this overheating risk. Okay, now that we understand the motivation for the liquid-cooled sharpening system, let's get Brian's unit set up on the 2x72. First, you will need to attach the mister to your flat platen via the magnet and get the nozzle pointed in front of your top wheel. Next, you'll put the water suction line into a cup or pitcher of water. I find that it's more effective to add a sinker to the end of the suction line. In my case, I added a block of aluminum. You'll then attach the air line. The manufacturer's spec on the operation pressure for this mister is between 70 and 100 psi. However, I've been running it at 50 psi with no issues. At this point, I open the liquid control valve then start cracking open the air control valve. The amount of airflow coming out of your nozzle will dictate the amount of liquid being pulled from your pitcher. I generally increase the airflow until I see just a little bit of liquid coming out of the nozzle onto my finger. A large amount of spray is not necessary for the sharpening operation and can be messy. To get a more convenient sharpening angle, tilt your flat platen towards you. Your target for edge contact on the belt will be right behind the top wheel of the platen. Ideally, you can run the belt in reverse with the edge facing away from you. However, I imagine you can run the grinder normally with the edge pointing towards you. I've seen many makers sharpen their blades in this manner with success. Now this is where some skill and practice will come into play. Turn your machine on, start the mister, then contact the belt with your edge. If you already have an established secondary bevel, finding the angle is easier. On a blade without a secondary bevel, you'll have to visually dictate the angle. This is very similar to using a hand sharpening stone. To be conservative, you could start with a more aggressive bevel, test your edge performance, and work that bevel backwards as desired. This will take a little getting used to, and I recommend starting with some cheap, non-important knives for practice. Once you get the hang of it, dictating this angle is fairly painless. For those who are not confident with this freehand method, I'm sure a jig can be made to utilize the Tormek jigs on a work rest with this sharpening system. I've thought about doing this on my own and I may down the road in order to establish specific angles. From a zero edge, start off with a 600 grit Norax belt until you see a burrow develop along your entire edge. Then swap over to a 1200 grit belt. This should reduce the size of the burr, but you'll still see it. To remove the burr after the Norax, you can strop with whatever method you are comfortable with. Some examples would be a hand strop or a power strop like on the Win or Tormek sharpening system. You could also purchase a leather belt for your 2x72, load it with buff and compound, and strop on the machine. Recently I stropped with a cork belt loaded with buff and compound, and it worked fairly well. I've been using this system on my recent knives and find it fairly convenient to use. I've also used it to keep the heat down while grinding bevels post heat treat. While it can be a little messy for this operation, I find that having it running while grinding bevels post heat treatment can greatly speed up my process and reduce the chance of overheating my knife. The magnet that came with the mister block ended up coming off for me. I think the 3M tape failed due to the high heat in my shop. For me, this wasn't an issue since I planned on mounting the mister block to my platen via a cap head screw anyways. To do so, I drilled out the holes on my block to a number 7 drill size, then tapped to a quarter 20 thread. I find the direct mount to be more secure, and it's not difficult to remove with just one bolt. As you'll probably have gathered up to this point, I do like having this system in my shop. Of course, you can part this unit out online and assemble it yourself. However, I think Brian has done a great job in packaging this system and offering it as a convenient plug and play assembly. I'll have a link in the description below to order this system from Brian. So for those considering a system like this, I hope this review helped. If anything, I hope it gave you all some ideas of how you want to sharpen your own knives. If you think you got some value out of this video, please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.